Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to go over the 2018 Jayco J Flight SLX 145RB. This is a small little travel trailer. It weighs under 2,500 pounds. So if you're looking for a nice little couples camper, then this is one you certainly want to pay attention to. Starting off right down here, you have this little sofa area here, which, you know, I kind of like in this setup. Uh, normally in a travel trailer this size, you don't really have a lot of great seating options, so I'm glad that they kind of put this in here. Plus, if you have any guests, friends, buddies, family, maybe kids that are going camping with you, of course, you can remove these right off the back here to add that extra space, and you essentially have a single size bed there. Right up above that, you also have a window to let in some natural light into the camper here. And up top, you have some storage. We'll open this up so you can take a look. The one side here, you have your radio as well. Folks, that one is Bluetooth capable, which is pretty cool. That way you can connect to your phone or tablet and be able to operate it wirelessly. If you're going camping and it's really hot, you have the ceiling mounted AC here, so it'll keep it nice and cool, especially in a short, uh, short travel trailer like this. And your thermostat and your fan control are mounted right on there. Of course, your entry door is right back here. You have your main light switch, power awning on here as well, which is pretty darn handy. And then right back here is, uh, you know, a storage area. Now, myself personally, folks, I would probably put a tension rod in here so you have, uh, you know, a little extra hanging space. If you take a look in the back, you will see that you have a couple coat hooks there too. But again, you know, I, I like to hang a lot of my clothes, so I'd probably put something in there just to have some extra clothes up there, but obviously you don't have to. And you also have the shelf on top and down below, so some good extra storage right over there. Your thermostat for your heat is right here, nice and easy to control. The, uh, the heater itself is in the kitchen, we'll take a look at that in just a moment. But first, let's take a look at the bathroom here. So as we step in, you'll see your foot flush lever toilet right down there. I'll take a seat so you can see you have plenty of leg room here in this floor plan. Good shoulder space as well because they have a curtain instead of a door, which is probably a good choice here. Toilet paper holder right off here to the side. Now, I'm six foot. Just bear in mind that, you know, if you're a taller person, you might have to move your legs over a little as the door does kind of close off right there. So if you have really long legs, it might be a little difficult, but otherwise you should be fine. And right over here to this side is your tub shower. As far as height, I'll take a step in here for you so you can see. I'm six foot, and as you can see, folks, I kind of have to duck down a little bit. There is the skylight, which adds a little bit of height, but you know, if you're a taller person, for sure, uh, you know, this one may be a little bit too short for you. Again, at six foot, I can manage. I can duck down for a little while in order to use the shower if I have to. And in, in all honesty, most of the time when I go camping, I use the facilities anyway. That way, I'm not filling up my gray tank. But uh, you know, whatever you want to do, of course, is completely up to you. As we step back out, you can see right over here is the kitchen. You have the uh, microwave right up top, fully functional hood right down below with the light and fan, and some additional storage right up above here. You have good size prep space right here, and the main reason for that is because you have a single bowl instead of double bowl sink, and you have a two burner cooktop mounted vertically. So that helps, again, give you this extra countertop space. Mounted on the wall, you'll see your tank monitoring panel. And then right underneath that is your water pump. So again, if you're going uh, you know, somewhere where you don't have water hookup, obviously fill up your fresh water tank, turn on the pump so you have that water access. You do have an electrical outlet right over here as well as a 12 volt supply. So if you have a 12 volt TV, folks, you wanna run TV off your battery instead of shore power. Again, if you're going somewhere where you don't have shore power, you can plug that right into there. So we take a look down below, as I mentioned, right there is your direct vent furnace. That's all you need in this short little camper, folks. You have some additional storage right underneath the sink there. And next to that is your three cubic foot uh, fridge with your drop down freezer compartment here. Right up top are your controls. You will see that this one does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. Uh, as far as storage too, just so you know, there is storage underneath this bench seat. When we go outside, you'll see you have access to that from outside as well. And then right up front here is the main bed. So this is a dinette as well. If you lift this up, you can see that. Uh, so the table obviously pops up there. This is where you'll sit, have all your meals together. But I wanted to lay it down in a bed just to show you. Uh, a lot of times when you get a smaller camper like this, the main bed ends up being pretty short. But because the Jayco is nice and wide, again, I'm six foot. And as you can see, folks, 
I can comfortably lay here just like this and I still have some room down at the feet. So even though, you know, the shower may be a little short, you do have plenty of room here in the bed. Underneath this side of the bench, I shall lift this up for you. You can see this is all storage. You can see that right there. And again, you have access to the outside. The other side, however, is not storage. Underneath the other seat is where uh, your water pump, your tank, stuff like that will be, your, um, your water heater, all that is located right underneath there. Window up here to let in some natural light. That is also an emergency exit. Storage right up top there as well. It has the net for easy access. Storage across the top. Couple LED lights in here to help brighten it up as well as the window on front. You can see the rock guard on there. That of course opens up as well to let the natural light in right by the bed. Now that we've seen the insides, take a quick look at the outside of the SLX 145RB. Right up front here is your 20 pound propane tank. Right behind that are the rails there for your battery. You'll also see the diamond plating up front to help protect the front end a little bit. And as I mentioned previously, right here is that rock guard for the front window. That way, if your tow vehicle starts kicking up some rocks, it's not going to smash the glass. But as I promised, this opens up as well. It's letting the natural light. You just lock the wing nuts there on both sides to lock it out. So we can't really see the roof up here, folks. One of the great things about Jayco is the Magnum roof system. It's a great system they use. It's screwed instead of stapled. You have two by twos for supports up there oversized uh, nailing brackets. It's just a great system overall, extremely strong. And they use the Diflex 2 roof on there, which is a fleeceless TPO. Essentially what you need to know about that is it uh, has the elasticity that EP EPDM does, so it's not going to crack when it gets cold. You're not gonna have to worry about hail damage nearly as much because it'll flex a little bit with it and it doesn't have any of the maintenance that your rubber roof has. You don't have to get up there every year, put additives back into it, which is a huge bonus. So if you're one that's looking for something a little bit easier on the maintenance side, a Jayco may not be a bad way to go. Here is your power awning. As I mentioned, you had that control inside there. This is the uh, Solaris speaker system. So if you take a look right up in the head of the awning there, you have speakers in both the heads that way. Yeah, when you roll the awning out, the music is playing down on your campsite rather than out at your neighbors. That is controlled by that little unit I showed you inside. And as I previously mentioned, that is Bluetooth capable. So if you want to sit out here and use your phone or tablet, you're able to control that nice and easily. Underneath that awning, you also have an LED light strip. That's something you generally don't find on a camper this size. Uh, you know, usually when you have a smaller camper like this, if you get an awning at all, it's manual. It doesn't come with the LED light. So it's pretty cool that it is on here for you. Again, makes it nice and easy to have light at night. This is that window right by the couch I showed you. This will let in some natural light. Two year warranty on there, folks. Again, Jayco believes in what they build. They have the two year warranty, which is one of the best in the industry. Right out here, you have a couple electrical outlets. Need to plug anything in, whether it's a uh, phone, blender, electric griddle, whatever it may be, that is the place to do it. And I talked a little bit about the storage when we were inside. You can take a look right in here. This is that outside door access. So, you know, the one part up front there will give you access underneath the dinette. This back part here is access underneath that sofa. This one also does have easy lube axle on there. Again, easier on the maintenance side. Instead of having to constantly repack your bearings, you pop that little cap off. There's a greaser in there. You can pump some grease into it. Definitely do your research before you do it, folks. You still have to jack your trailer up, spin the tire, some other things you have to do. Don't just start pumping grease in there. You can do more harm than good. But it is uh, something that is nice to have, again, on the maintenance side. Easy to get into the RV. You have one foldable step. That's all you really need. Uh, key alike system on here. That's pretty cool. So the same key that goes in here is the same key that opens your pass-through doors. You only have to carry one key with you. And it is unique to this RV. So if someone else has a, a SLX 145, their key will not work on yours. So definitely something that's uh, nice for the safety side. Right back here is your spare tire mounted to the bumper. It also has a cover on there. Hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, it's riding right back here, super easy to get to, and hopefully it should be in good shape. Real quick on the off door side, your termination is located right back here. That does have both your black and gray tank valves there. Making our way up a little bit further, you'll see that your vents are on this side rather than the camp side, which is nice. So that way it's not constantly blowing hot air on you. Your electrical outlet right over here, or shore power rather. So you just open that guy up, pull it out, 30 amp service, plug it in, 
nice and easy to go. And then right up here are your water connections. <clears throat> Excuse me, right up top, if you want to, again, fill your water tanks, plan on going boondocking, you want to use this one right here. Right down below is for your city water. If you have pressurized water, you'll hook it up right there. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2018 Jayco J-Flight SLX 145RB. If you're interested in this lightweight travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.